Today I am showing you a tour of all the biggest sites in Netherlands or... Wait... Actually, I am showing all the smallest sites in the Netherlands because today we are exploring Madurodam, which is a park where you can explore all of the Netherlands in miniature form. Madurodam is located in the city of The Hague. You can get here easily by first taking the train to Den Haag Central Station and then from here jumping on tram number 9. When you arrive with the tram, the tram station is right here and Madurodam is right here, so there shouldn't be any issues for you to find your way here. We have just arrived to the Madurodam, I'm probably pronouncing that completely incorrect but Madurodam, aka the miniature Holland. Let's go and see what it is like. Madurodam was first opened in 1952. It was founded as a memorial for the war hero George Maduro as a way to raise funds for charities. Here they have a small show where they teach you about the history of the Netherlands. Um, it goes on every five minutes, but every second time it is in Dutch and every second time it is in English. So I am currently <laughs> the only one in line, but I am waiting for the next show which will be in English. But yeah, that's really great. Uh, I've sometimes been to some Dutch sightseeing places and everything has been completely in Dutch which I understand of course as someone who doesn't speak fluently Dutch it is nice to also get the English option and this is perfect for tourists coming to visit and who don't know the language so yeah this is supposed to be a five minute video or show I'm not really sure so as you can see there are two different lines the English one and the Dutch one so just make sure you stand in the right line and yeah there's really no one else here in line, I'm gonna have a private show. Here you see miniature Utrecht with the dome tower and everything. and miniature Amsterdam Here we have miniature Maastricht with the gates of hell here. Over here we have Delft and here is The Hague. I 
I love how they've even made these little bushes or trees look really tiny. They're in proportion with everything else. I must say that Flying Dutchman experience was really cool. I really liked it. So make sure to check that out as well when you're here. My 20 cent candy. Here you can also find quite a fun looking playground, so if you're a family with children coming to visit, this is the perfect place for the children to have a little break. I guess with Erasmus Bridge over there and everything, this is supposed to be Rotterdam. Over here you can also find a souvenir shop, it's close by the exit, so if you want to buy some very touristic souvenir things, here you can do that. So I actually wanted to try the falafel burger that they had here. They had quite a good deal. It would have been like 19.95 for a burger and fries. But the kitchen's already closed. It's currently 4.30 and this place closes at 5. So I just got a cookie and something to drink. 
Oh, yum. Cheers. Okay, so this cookie is amazing. It's huge as well. Everything here is small. Oh, Whoa. Even though, yeah, sorry, it's a bit windy. But even though everything is small here, Someone told me that I, because I often eat yummy looking things in my videos, they always get hungry when watching. Well, actually that someone was my grandma, so hello to my grandma if you're watching this. If you're like my grandma, make sure to always have some snacks prepared before watching a video and make it like a little cozy moment for yourself. So in conclusion, I would say this was a really fun place to visit, a very different place to visit. I've never been to anything quite like it before. If you ever happen to be in the Netherlands, especially in the Hague region, I definitely recommend visiting it. I thought it was super cool how detailed everything was. Like they had really thought about all the small details and also all the extra little shows like the small history lessons and the flight simulator. All those things were really cool. I would say if you come here you should reserve maybe two to three hours. It's of course a very touristic spot, but I enjoyed it. I'm sure you would also enjoy it when you come here. It's time to start heading home for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye!